different artilleries requires different caliber. Some well-known artillery, like the Gustav gun, require a huge caliber ammunition, while the M61 Valken requires a smaller one. Today, we'll present you guys the comparison of artillery ammunition, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we have the 20mm caliber. Weapons using this caliber range from anti-material rifles and anti-tank rifles to aircraft autocannons and anti-aircraft guns. Weapons that fire the 20mm caliber ammunition include the M61 Falcon, M39 Cannon, Morocco CIWS, and many more. Up next is the 40mm caliber ammunition. A weapon that fires this ammunition is the Buffer's 40mm gun having a shell of 40 by 311mm rimmed which has a maximum firing range of 7160 meters. Next is the 57mm caliber. This type of cartridge is fired by the Buffer's 57mm naval automatic gun L70 and L60 naval artillery gun. Buffer's 57mm M47 aircraft gun, Buffer's 57mm M54 aircraft gun, 6-pounder gun, and many more. Up next is the 75mm caliber ammunition. The Ordnance QF 75mm tank gun, 75mm gun, M116 howitzer, and many more fires this caliber size. Next is the 88mm caliber ammunition. The most recognized weapon that fires the 88mm caliber is the Flak 18, 36, 37, and 41. The 88mm was used in two main roles, as a mobile heavy anti-aircraft and as an anti-tank gun. Other uses included firing in support of the troops at the front and as a more static anti-aircraft gun for home defense. Next, we have the 105mm, which is a common NATO standard artillery and tank gun caliber. Many howitzers fire this caliber. Because of their modest weight and portability, certain military forces have kept 105mm towed howitzers. Next, we have the 113mm caliber. This caliber is mainly used by the 4.5-inch Mark VIII which is a British naval gun system that currently equips the Royal Navy's destroyers and frigates, and also some British destroyers and frigates sold to other countries. Next, we have the 120 caliber. The 120mm cartridge was developed for close in defense of tanks against massed assault infantry attack. All 120mm rounds use a common combustible case, which structurally combines the ammunition's components prior to firing, and is completely consumed during firing. Next, we have the 127 caliber. This caliber is mainly used by naval guns designed for use against surface warships, anti-aircraft and shore bombardment to support amphibious operations. Guns that uses this caliber include the Autobrata 127mm 54 Compact, 127mm Mark 45 lightweight gun, and many more. Next is the 130mm caliber. This is mainly used by the M46, which is a Soviet field gun developed in the 1940s. It was one of the most successful field artillery systems developed by the Soviet Union after the World War II. The maximum rate of fire is 7 to 8 rounds per minute, and its maximum range is 27.15 km. Up next is the 155mm caliber. This is a common NATO standard artillery caliber. It is commonly used in field guns, howitzers, and gun howitzers. Since the late 20th century, most NATO armies have adopted 155mm weapons as an all-purpose standard. They are seen as striking a good compromise between range and destructive power, while using only a single caliber simplifies logistics. Up next is the 203mm caliber. This is commonly used mainly in naval guns and howitzers. The 203mm 50 caliber pattern 1905 and the 2S7 Pion self-propelled howitzer uses this caliber size. 
Next, we have the 240 mm caliber ammunition. This is commonly used in field guns, howitzers and gun howitzers, such as the 240 mm howitzer M1 and the Soviet 240 mm mortar M240. Next, we have the 280 mm caliber ammunition. This caliber was mainly used by 280 mm mortar M1939, which was a Soviet heavy artillery piece used during World War II, and it was the Red Army's heaviest field piece during the war. Next is the 305 mm caliber ammunition. This caliber was mainly used by the Canon D305 mm model 1887, which was a heavy naval gun used as the main armament of a number of French pre-dreadnoughts and coastal defense ships during World War I. Next is the 356 mm caliber ammunition. This is commonly used in naval guns such as the 14-inch 45 caliber guns that were installed as the primary armament aboard all of the United States Navy's New York class, Nevada class, and Pennsylvania class battleships. Next, we have the 381 mm caliber ammunition. This caliber ammunition is mainly used by naval guns. The BL 15 inch Mark I naval gun, Canon Naval 381 40 and 381 mm 50 model 1934 naval gun use this caliber size. Next, we have the 406 mm caliber ammunition. The most common naval gun that fires 406 mm caliber is the 16 inch by 50 caliber Mark VII United States naval gun, which is the main armament of the Iowa class battleships. Next, we have the 460 mm caliber ammunition. The most common gun that fires this caliber is the Japanese 46 cm 45 type 94 naval gun, which was the largest ever mounted on a warship. Only two ships carried them, the Imperial Japanese Navy's World War II super battleships Yamato and Musashi. It has a maximum firing range of 42 km. Next is the 520 mm caliber ammunition. This is only used by the Obuzier 520 model 1916, which was a French railway howitzer that was built during World War I. Its rate of fire is one round per six minutes and has a maximum firing range of 17,000 meters. Next is the 600 mm caliber ammunition. This caliber is used by Karl Grott or Morse Karl, which was a World War II German self-propelled siege mortar designed and built by Rhine Metal. Seven guns were built, six of which saw combat between 1941 and 1945. It was used in attacking the Soviet fortresses of Brezlitovsk and Sevastopol, bombarded Polish resistant fighters in Warsaw. Next is the 800mm caliber ammunition. This caliber was used by Pumhart von Steyr cannon artillery and Schreyer Gustav railway gun. Schreyer Gustav was the largest caliber rifled weapon ever used in combat and, in terms of overall weight, the heaviest mobile artillery piece ever built. The fully assembled Gustav railway gun weighed nearly 1,350 tons and could fire shells weighing 7 tons to a range of 47 kilometers. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the buzz.